A good Friday morning to all of you. Welcome yeah. to Local Lifestyles. I'm Angie Humphrey. I'm Ron Rhodes on this uh, Friday. And you know, we've got ourselves not a bad day, yay. And <laughs> that big old snow we're talking about doesn't look so big anymore for us, anyway. So oh, really? I mean, that's good. oh, really? Oh, really? So the well, weekend's looking a little bit better, too. Well, we've got a great show for you coming up today. Oh, I'm, I know we do. Yes, Jeff Head is here in the Fix It Friday segment to tell you how to actually hang those ornaments and stuff outside so you know what you're doing. Yeah, you know, get somebody better, else Get to a do roofer it. that tells you. <laughs> yeah. And author Larry Armstead <laughs> opens the pages of his new book. Of course, the Evansville Ballet Theater presents The Nutcracker. It just okay. makes holiday magic. The Tri-State Career Fair is coming up, and our digital manager, Joe Day, stand right over there. He's going to tell us all about it. Yeah. K-9 Detections can offer your pet obedience training and so much more. So a great big old show for you on your Friday. A lot going on on this Friday. But, you know, as far as the weather goes, not much going on. It's just cold, but it's, you Well, know. that's how it changed from yesterday, because, I mean, everybody was buying bread and milk at the Schnooks yesterday. Were they for really? The, for the big snow. I'm kidding. Well, but, you know, I bet they They would have been today. They, they might, you know. But I don't think it's going to be all that bad for us. That's on Sunday. Of course, today, though, we do have kind of like muted sunshine or veiled sun right veiled, now. Veiled. Veiled is poetic. I like veiled. That's yes. all that veiled thing. sunshine. Well, the veiled sunshine on downtown Evansville. There are two Lee Law Sky Camera. Temperatures are going to be in the 30s all day, though, so we're not really going to warm up a lot. Yesterday, we were in the 40s, but we had that nasty cold rain. At least we've thawed out. In the past hour, we've seen that temperature rise up to 33 degrees. Wind is calm. It's not too bad. It's not going to be much of a wind today. So, you know, we can, we can deal with this kind of weather, I guess. Yes, it's good for Christmas shopping and all the other things going on. It does put Get you in the, the Christmas spirit. spirit. It does. You know, if we see a few flakes on Sunday, if we do, it probably will be just a few. And down to the south, you know, I guess that will help out, too. So is it going to go and below us? Is it going? Oh, it's going south right now. It looks like almost all that. It's a big storm. There's no doubt about it. Problem is, it's going to be big down there and not so big up here. Well, I know you'll tell us all about it in great detail oh. during your mega weather. <laughs> well, it depends segment. on how much time old producer uh, Ashley will do this <laughs> But I can go into great detail well, if I have to. I can, make, I can make it happen where you have more time no, if you no, like that. We can skip I'm, the dish I don't or want to cut anybody's time over here. <laughs> Let's go to the daily Let's dish on this Friday. Bring it up. Yeah, boy. Well, not everyone hates the cold weather in China's most northern cities, with temperatures dropping to minus 44 degrees. Wow. The freezing temps seem to excite some people who were throwing hot water into the air and watching it freeze. Isn't this something to see? It's, it's turning into ice crystals. A rare ice fog covered this week as well. The Weather Authority issued the city's so first ever cold weather red warning. Extreme cold is supposed to last through today. That's something to see. You know, they're taking that hot water, and of course it cools so quickly, and it turns into these ice crystals almost as soon as it comes out. And it really is amazing because it's so cold there. It's something that I would love to do, but I don't want to be in a place where I can where, do it. Where it's minus 44. <laughs> right, yeah, I don't I'm want to be at minus 40, 44 degrees. So it, 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 and to tell you the truth, at minus 40, it doesn't matter whether they're talking Fahrenheit or centigrade, which is what they would Right, make. exactly. It's still the same temperature, pretty much. At a minus 40, it, they, all, they both come together. It's so cold, I can't even imagine. It doesn't matter. It's now, you cold. know, one, one year we tried, did, did we try to blow the bubbles and freeze them? It just wasn't quite cold it enough. Wasn't, was it wasn't, well, how cold does it have to be? Because I was, my that jaws cold were sore. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted that to was, see that. They, they could have done that there, and it could have worked out pretty well. It, you we should have sent them and some then bubbles. They just, these bubbles come down, they shatter. I've seen it happen before. It was in Minnesota, which is probably. Oh, that, we saw the video, and that yeah. got us all started. Up about it. Well, it we, did. It we did. didn't have any luck. And may no. we not have that luck this no, year. No, I don't want to have that luck. Do you need your prescription in a hurry? Walgreens Pharmacy has announced it's launching a next day drug delivery service. It's called Walgreens Express. The drugstore chain says it will partner with FedEx in the program. You'll have to pay a $5 fee for the service and place your order by 4 p.m. on weekdays, but in certain cities, you could get the same day delivery. And the announcement comes after CVS Health recently started a similar program. So I can get competition it. out there in the marketplace. I could get it the same day if I just get in the car and, go and drive over there. Yes. <laughs> is that what we're talking about? Delivery to your home? Is that what they're I guess for some people to? that would really be a convenience if they well, can't, if they true. can no longer drive that's true. or they can't get to the big city or whatever Maybe else. Maybe that's so. why they need the medicine. Yeah. Because they are in pain. Okay, but that's, that, so that would work out for them. So that's a great deal. Yeah, if it's but for those of us who can go and wait at the window. <laughs> In that long oh line back there. <laughs> it seems I like, just go on in. Just it doesn't go matter in. what time for me. You it know, doesn't. it seems like there's always like this long line. I thought, oh well. It is, but you know, first world problem for yeah, us. Yeah, it right? really is. You're right. After just two days after announcing they would be hosting the Oscars, comedian Kevin Hart is stepping down as the host after some of his old anti gay tweets resurfaced. 
Hart says the Academy asked him to apologize or quit, and he said he passed on the apology because he had already addressed the issue. But Hart later did apologize on Twitter, saying his words were insensitive and he is sorry that he hurt people. So, but they haven't announced who's going to replace him, have they? No, Jimmy, anybody, Kim Jimmy anybody, Kimmel did it uh, for two years. I wonder if they'll go back to Jimmy Kimmel, um, it, because he did it for two years. Oh, right, you right. You know who they ought to bring back? It was a lot of fun when Ellen did it. Oh, she's uh, so funny. And, you know, she yeah. had, that, had that group selfie. That's been a, an iconic yeah, picture. Yeah, she was great. Well, there are a lot of people who would do a good job, but both of those would be good candidates. You know, remember who did it for years and years was Billy Crystal. And I wonder if he'd be up for it. Was, it. was it that or the Academy Awards that he did? Oh, he did the Academy Awards. Yeah, but he, he was hilarious. He was Some good. of the best production numbers the years that he did it, <laughs> they were great. Those opening numbers can be misery or they can be really or great. Or they can be a lot and of fun. And his were great, really yeah. good. We'll and speaking out. of great, when we come back, we're going to learn about a great new book by the author Larry Armstead II. You're watching Lifestyles. Stay with us.